You can see from how low this pond is getting here that we're still stuck in the midst of about a month long drought with no rain here in the Ozarks. But we still got a lot to do today with both hogs and cattle, so let's get to work. My wife has decided that the uh, new pigs need an in-ground swimming pool to play in. And digging it even in the shed is a chore here in the Ozarks. Hopefully, filling it with water and allowing it to soak will make it dig a little easier after lunch. And it does dig quite a bit easier now. Sand in the bottom of the hole I just dug to help level the pool. Evidently, nothing is too good for Judy's pigs. Got this one cow here who has a calf. I can't determine uh, just looking at her whether she's pregnant or whether she's just fat. She's got quite an udder, but she's terribly fat too. And it's way past when she should have calved, uh, even since I've taken the bulls out. So, of course, a neighbor's bull could have jumped the fence and bred her, but I think she's just fat. This is number 41, the cow that the vet operated on her foot a few videos ago. She's getting around much better, but I'm afraid she'll still have to go to market when her calf is weaned this fall. Louie still doesn't like the pigs. Pigs are enjoying a treat of soaked corn and day-old biscuits. They sound like it's good. I don't soak corn for the pigs every day because they need more protein than that offers, but it sure does keep them coming to the trough. Watching little pigs play is almost as much fun as watching baby calves play for this old cattleman. The summer drought was a little late arriving this year, but as always, it is here now. This wind vane on the mineral feeder has rusted off. You'd think it should last longer than 20 years, but it did rust off, so I gotta replace it today. 20 years of rust makes removal of the bolts a little bit of a challenge, but we get it done. I've gotten a wind vane off of an old mineral feeder that I'm replacing putting on this one but this is a newer style it's got four holes in it so I'm gonna get this first one put in and I'll drill holes for the other three for plenty of cool spring water during this hot dry spell. Calves are acting like mountain goats today moving around on this rocky ledge.
bull today, and that's not like him to not be with the cows. We're hunting for him now. Hopefully he's not on one of the neighbors. And we finally find the bull. He was over here in the shade relaxing with one of his lady friends. Evidently, smacking is not considered bad manners in the swine community. Cows are over here underneath this tree that, I don't know what kind of oak it is, but it produces these huge acorns just about every second or third year, and the cows are over here eating them. Looks like one of my cows missed her pedicure appointment this year. It happens with some cows, and I'll probably take her to market this fall after we wean the calves as well. As we call it a day on this video, I'd like to remind everyone to tune in next Wednesday, October 2nd at 7 p.m. for our next live stream.